Hello and welcome to Hank Games Out Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys. Today, enjoying an extremely exciting transfer negotiation with Will Nightingale. Uh, 22-year-old center back. Real-life Will Nightingale is very, very good and um, a huge part of AFC Wimbledon's future, I think. So I'm going to try to keep Will Nightingale. I shaved, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed that. But I just negotiated this contract and then the game broke while I was trying to... Uh, negotiate a contract with Dean Parrott because I don't know. It's possible that they remembered that uh, I'm just going to accept that, that that seems very reasonable to me. $1,500 except yeah, we agreed on that wage. We did it guys. We negotiated a contract. Will Nightingale, welcome back to AFC Wimbledon for the next, I think four years and six months. That's a heck of a long time that you're going to be making $1,500 a week. It's not like a great living, but you know, hopefully it's it's enough in 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 London. Uh, I need to re-sign Ant Hardigan. Uh, oh, there's one thing I wanted to do in real life. Uh, one of an absolute Wimbledon legend is Paul Robinson, but in this game, I am going to add him to the transfer list because he's 36 years old, and he's apparently worth 110 thousand dollars, and that's 110 thousand dollars we could really use, and also. We only have him for six more months. Now I am going to attempt to renegotiate with Dean Parrott. Please do not go black. If it does go black, I just want to tell you right now, I'm going to upload this video and it's going to end with the black screen. Okay. All right. It was for a second there. I was scared. Okay. Although now you guys are watching this. You're like, we knew that there's 17 more minutes. Hey, Dean, remember when I offered you a dollar? I think we should just forget all about that and... Just try to have a good time here, okay? I think that your role at the club is important but not vital. By the way, 17-year-old 17 17-year-old 17 Rafael, he is 17 years old, wants to be put on the transfer list because he doesn't feel like he's getting enough game time. He's 17. Have you ever heard of a 17-year-old goalkeeper starting hard stop? Have you ever heard of a 17-year-old goalkeeper starting in any senior division professional team. It is ludicrous, and I'm so frustrated with him. Um, okay, we're making good progress. Let's agree on how many years you want to sign for us. Do you want to sign for three years, Dean? Because that would be perfect for me, because the main thing I want, actually, is just not to have to think about this for the rest of the time I'm playing this game. I never want to think about your contract again. So the nice thing about a three-year contract is that by then, we'll probably be playing FIFA 19. <laughs> so... I don't have to worry about it. Mr. Managerino has proposed three years, and that's what they were after. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to talk about money. Last time I offered you a dollar a week, and you were very your feelings were hurt, and I understand you wouldn't negotiate with me for a month, but I'm back in the game. Oh, God. I mean, we don't want a release clause. Oh, this is so stupid. There are no release clauses for third-tier English football players. It's not like... <laughs> it's not like Liverpool is going to come in and say like, oh, we'll pay the $27 million release clause for Dean Parrott. Nothing personal, Dean. I know you're a fan of the series, but I mean, let's be reasonable here, guys. Okay. He wants $3,600. You know what I would like to give you, Dean? $3,600. I am no longer in the business of trying to like negotiate piddly whittly little differences. We are just, all we do is we're in the accepting business because it means that I don't have to be on the screen anymore looking at my ancient wrinkled face. Congratulations, Dean Parrott, on your three-year contract with AFC Wimbledon. Um, and by the time this is, by the time it's up, you'll no longer be, I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to put, oh, he's, a, he's on loan. Okay, that, so that doesn't matter. Uh, I think that you're already on the transfer list. You are. And... And the real life Anne Hardigan is so good, but this Anne Hardigan isn't very good. So I think I'm going to add you to the transfer list. Even though in real life, I think Anne Hardigan is going to be like a Premier League football player before it's all said and done. Guys, we're playing Barnsley today in the fourth round of the FA Cup. I mean, I mean does it get any more exciting? I just want to really quickly show you the freaking Rafo. Boss, I feel that my career is being wasted by not getting games here, so I want to be placed on the transfer list and try my luck elsewhere. You're 17 years old. Shut up and sit on the bench. Just kidding. I can't afford to lose him, so he's starting. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, our other goalkeeper, George Long, is on loan. He's going to go back to Sheffield United. We can't afford to uh, sign him. So, guys, it's uh, it's Rafa till the end of the season. And George Long is going to be really unhappy. Probably in real life, too. I hung out with George Long. His wife, uh, or girlfriend, sorry, I didn't mean to, didn't mean to move things along unnecessarily. Uh, his girlfriend is, uh, is a fan of my work, I guess. And so... That was really cool. And also, George Long is such an incredibly nice guy. But, I, you know, he, he doesn't play. I, I, I don't know if he still plays. I mean, he doesn't play for Wimbledon anymore. He was on loan, and, and now he's, uh, you know, going to be playing probably for Sheffield United, or I think that's his home team. I don't know. I would love for him to play for Wimbledon more. But that doesn't matter, because in this game, we're playing with Rafa. It's the FA Cup. We win or we go home or we tie and we play them uh, again. <laughs> so actually, it's not win or go home. It's close to. Today's topic, I realize that I've been. it's been a long time coming, but we do have a topic today. It's from Jack, who doesn't have a memory. Jack writes, I work in a bookstore. By the way, leave me your problems in comments. If you have a problem, I want to solve it. And I will remind you, a question is not a problem, okay? So I know that you guys have an urge to ask me questions um, or want advice. I want to solve your problems. So think about the biggest problem in your life or the smallest problem in your life and leave me your problems. I would really appreciate it. This question comes from Jack and it is a proper problem. Jack writes, I work in a bookstore and I cannot remember titles or authors, even for books I've actually read that consistently leaves me looking like a dummy and or a poser whenever I'm trying to give book recommendations to customers. All right, Jack, I've got a ton of solutions for you. That's the good news. I have a similar problem um, and it mostly occurs when I'm under pressure. So I recently did an event where I was talking with the Colts quarterback, Andrew Luck, at a fundraiser for uh, WFYI, the local public media station here. And uh, I, I, I was talking about a book that I'd read as a child that I'd reread in my in my 20s and that I did and that I really liked. Um, and then the and then Andrew was like, what's that book about? And I was like, I can't remember. Uh, and the truth is that, oh, God, Rafo. Look at him getting down. He doesn't usually dive, but that was a nice change of pace for him, and I appreciated it. By the way, Barnsley is a lot better than us. So, I, I mean, it's it's fair to say that we're not expected to win this game. But are we expected to win any of our games based on the fact that I'm the one playing the... Oh, God, I was off sides. Didn't see it. In time, Mr. Managerino is frustrated with, with Mr. Managerino's ability to hit the A button in the right at the right time. So, anyway... I completely, and anytime I'm under even a slight amount of pressure, which doesn't have to be like a public event, like it can include the slight amount of pressure that you feel when a, uh, like a customer asks you uh, for a book recommendation, I just immediately freeze up. And what happened in this particular instance is that I did remember what the book was about. The book was, um, oh God, no, I'm not going to remember. Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, um, which, is, which is a great book about an African-American family in the Depression. And it's, it's beautiful. I read it when I was a kid, and then I reread it. But at the same time that I reread it, I reread a different book called, I think, called My Side of the Mountain. And the thing that I got scared of doing was I got really scared that I was going to say the, a, a plot summary of My Side of the Mountain instead. Of the, it's gotta be. It's John Green. Oh my God! It's a beautiful finish. It's Lyle Taylor to John Green. Go hug him. Go hug him. Go hug him. Go hug him. Where is he? Look, no, he's back there. Go hug him. Oh, I can't even. I can't even make a hug happen. <laughs> there's at last. There's a hug. That was a great job from Lyle Taylor, and John Green wanted to hug him, but he just couldn't seem to locate him. Um, but Lyle Taylor did locate John Green on the cross. It's fantastic. It just. I mean. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a brilliant finish or anything. All he had to do was get ahead on it, and he did. Uh, went in off the goalkeeper. It wasn't in a corner, but whatever. It counts. Super proud of John Green right now, uh, but most proud of Lyle Taylor. I hope that that assist matters to him. In real life, by the way, Lyle Taylor looking very much like he's not going to be an AFC Wimbledon player next year, which is a big concern because who's going to score the goals? Uh, Lyle scores the goals like almost exclusively. So I don't know. That's a little worrisome. Uh, anyway, we're not going to let that get us down. So I am familiar with this problem because I also struggle, oh God, to play defense for one thing. 
I also struggle with remembering things when I'm under even like the slightest amount of pressure and I start to I start to doubt myself and I start to get worried and I start I just get in my own head um, which is you know like a broader problem for me I guess the I don't have a solution to this problem exactly Jack but I do know that there are some things that work like oh golly gee that was almost good I'm trying to make golly gee happen and I'm not sure that it's going to so the number one thing that I do is um, when I've read a book or when there's a book I want to recommend, I find, uh, and you always hear people say this about mem- about memories, I find an anchor. I find a thing that I like about it. Um, and then that is the thing I talk about. And then the other thing that I do... Ugh, I mean, that was out of that was just a nothing shot that I think we all know George Long would have saved. (laughs) So it's a little frustrating to have to start a 17 year old child. (sighs) But what else am I going to do? Oh, I mean, that's my bad defensively, but also Rafa. What else am I going to do? I mean, Rafa has a tremendous amount of upside. He's going to be worth like 10 million pounds in two, two or three years because he's going to get really good, but he's 17. So I thought that I was going to be able to bench him for a year because, again, to emphasize this, he's 17 years old. It's, it's Lyle Taylor, and he was just too far, too, too close to the line. So uh, look for a memory anchor. Anytime you've read a book or you find yourself like – what I think would probably happen is you find yourself – recommending, you know, some of the same books over and over again. Um, not certainly not every every time, you know, sometimes people are going to want like if somebody says, like, do you have any really good noir mystery novels? You're not going to say like, yes, I think you'll love An Abundance of Catherine's by John Green. Um, but uh, you could say that and maybe they would love An Abundance of Catherine's and it's available now. At your probably at your bookstore. I hope, man. Otherwise, I'm kind of bummed out. I hope that you have at least one copy of Catherine's. If you don't, actually, I'm not mad. There's a lot of books out there, so I, I'm not. I'm Jack. I forgive you preemptively for whatever books of mine you, you have or don't have in in stock currently at your bookstore. Also, I know it can be hard to keep things in stock. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully it's selling well enough that it. Mo- no. This game has gone from bad to much worse. Male toilets. Nice shot of the male toilets there. Is Wild Taylor injured or was that halftime? Because he was down on the ground and he didn't get up. Can I look at my team, please? He's not injured. Okay. Well, that is a huge relief. Um, I mean, we've played terribly, but Wild Taylor is not injured. So that means that we still have two working strikers because of John Green's broken elbow, which I still do not believe is a three-month injury. I mean, it, it is a game in which you do not use your hands. Anyway, that's not a bad ball from Lyle Taylor, but it was parried away effectively. But that's a nice job by Dean Parrott. Newly signed Dean Parrott, and then John Green gets to the ball. It's John Green. It's John Green. He is a, he is a threat. And the Barnsley players appear to know it. Um, they're back to John Green. That's really good. Oh, my God. That was like that was like one of the best passes I've ever had. It's got to be Lyle Taylor. Oh, it's over the bar. Lyle. I did everything right. Lyle. Oh, God. Oh, that's excruciating. Oh, Tom Brokaw coming off for Barnsley. Lyle. So memorize things that you like about like 10 books that you're going to recommend and then other than that say like i i i don't know it's so hard because like you do when you're asked that question you can't say like oh i've read this book but i don't remember anything about it because they're like well then why did you like it like what did you like about it so much that you're recommending that i purchase it if you don't remember a single thing about it but i also am in that same boat like sometimes i read books and i like i genuinely enjoy them I just don't really remember them. And like, I'll like go back to them and I'll be like, oh yeah, that's a nice quote. Like when I look at my little earmarks or whatever, I think you've got to find, I think you've got to, you know, build up that memory palace, which is such a stupid metaphor, but it's incredibly effective. You know, you, you, you 
come up with certain anchors of things that you say about certain books, things that you say about, you know, uh, each each book that you want to recommend and each book that you've read. You come up with, you know, a few facts that you just put in your memory and that you just use those things as, as anchors to talk about the book. And then once you're reminded of that one thing, you'll be reminded of other things about it. And that was a really bad defense. And now I'm going to... Rafa made actually a really good save. Okay. All right. We guys, we got to focus. We cannot lose this game. We need to go on a good FA Cup run because we don't have any money. Uh, by the way, we don't have any money. We're just constantly... Con the only reason we're even able to sign Dean Parrott was because we made it out of the uh, third round of the FA Cup. Uh, so we just need to, we, we, we kind of need to win this game. Um, but that doesn't mean that we will win it. So cause that's, that's what life is like, I guess. That's nice, though. That's a nice ball. That's uh, John Green. John Green. Oh, for the love of God. What did I, what did I fail to do there? All right. I'm going to get this. I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to get that ball. I got it. Okay. All right. Okay. Pass. Yes. The other thing I'd recommend, Jack, um, is that you only, I mean, this is just a strategy idea, but what if you only recommended books by me? I don't know how that didn't go in. We are, we are getting played off the pitch right now. I guess maybe Rafa made a save. So we're going to, what we're going to do is I, I feel like we're getting, I, I feel like part of the problem is actually in the back, which is unusual. So I think quest, a, quest is going to come on for Rob. I mean, Nightingale's going to come on for Robinson. We're going to leave Cuesta Cuesta out there. Uh, we're also going to switch formations to 4-3-3, uh, which is something that I, I've been liking to do lately because, I don't know, it just like messes with their minds, I think. We're going to leave, and then what we're going to do, uh, this is... Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't love, I don't love anything that I'm doing right now is, is the short, is the short story of how I feel. All right, we're going to bring, we're going to put Trotter in that central defensive midfield role, take off uh, Oreo baskets. I think we have one substitution. Nope, that's three substitutions. Great. Okay, I made three substitutions all at once, just like the pros do. We can win this game, guys. We can, don't ever make three substitutions right before a corner kick. That's like one of the fundamental rules of football. Aha, but it worked out. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. You've got tons. Oh my God. I mean, you've got nothing. Look at this. Look at this. You've got so many people to pass to. Oh, no. You made the one decision. You made the one wrong decision that there was to make. Oh. Oh, wow. It was a really good counterattack. But we made the one wrong decision. There were like three decisions that could have been made. And the wrong one was made. Oh, that's frustrating. That's super annoying. Right. So the other thing I was going to recommend is what if you just recommended my books um, and I can give you little quotes about them now. And then you could just say, I actually know the author of this book. And he said that I should recommend this book to you. Hold on, Jack. I've got to score a goal here. It's John Green. It's John Green. He's a finisher. Oh, somehow it doesn't go in. But, but, oh, right. Okay. So my book, Looking for Alaska, it's a nice boarding school book. It's... You know, it's not, it's not perfect. Uh, that's what I would say. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think that covers it. Okay, so then uh, then my book, An Abundance of Catherines, it's got some funny parts. Um, again, not perfect. But, you know, it's got a little bit of like second novelness about it. This has got to be, it's, oh my God, a terrible first touch. A terrible first touch. Guys, we're on the edge of winning this game. We This is definitely winnable. Since I've been fouled, or is the game over? I think the game's over. Ugh. Paper Towns won an Edgar Award. Uh, the Fault in Our Stars made a pretty good movie of it. Turtles All the Way Down. I mean, if you like obsessive thought spirals, you'll love this depiction of them. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Best wishes.